Alright, so in this video, I'll be giving you a very quick tutorial and utilizing the fixed point iteration method to find the root of a function. And so here we have our function where f of x equals to um, e raised to negative x minus x. And we have to find the root of that function. So here is basically uh, the formula or how we use the fixed point iteration method, where it says we have to rearrange the function so that x is on the left side of the equation. And basically, what it means is we have to move this x here to the other side to get our g of x. And we just do that, well, by doing this basically, I've, I've done it so here, I just copy paste it here. And basically our g of x is just this x moved to the other side, where then it equals to e raised to negative x. So that is our g of x. And that is the first step you should do in um, using the fixed point iteration method. And here below, I've made the table, uh, which we will use for our iterations or for our iterations to find the root of this function here. So this is our first iteration. And xk here uh, resembles our first guess or, or what we think is the root. And this number can be anything and I'll choose one for this um, for this guess. And here f of x, we just basically uh, input this function, e raised to negative x minus x, but replace the x values with our initial guess for x here. So it's gonna be like this exponent right because in um, Excel e is exponent and here negative x so negative and here this is our x minus our x okay that's our for our f of x and here for our g of x we just do we just use this where g of x right is x equals to e negative x so we just input the e negative x part so it's exponent negative x right okay and we have no error yet, so we just leave uh, we just leave this blank. And now we move on to our second iteration. And this time for our x guess, uh, we don't have to make any other guess because in this case the next value for x is the value we got for g of x. So we take this and there, put it there. And afterwards we just drag this. And now we can have an error, where the error is the absolute value of our second x. This minus our first, our first x here, so that. And afterwards, our job is done here, and we just have to drag this down until we meet a certain error criteria where the error is low enough that we can accept the root value. So we just drag it down here, keep on dragging it down. And you'll basically know uh, when you've hit the root, when the number, uh, when the value for x stops changing, right? As you can see here, Five six seven one four three two nine. Again, it's one four three two nine. So we drag it down again, and look, it's just one four three two nine um, onward. So this is the root of our function. So that's basically it for the fixed point iteration method. If you have any questions, you, you can always ask me in the comment section below. Thank you.